All right, everyone, time now for another deep dish. Sisters and founders of Womanish, Danielle and Deanna Gray are back here with us. Hi. Thank hey, gosh, you guys have different hairstyles. I know you're not twins. <laughs> <laughs> I just answer questions. Usually, I don't think so. Well, yeah. there's two Deannas here, so hey. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the job search is no walk in the park. Hundreds of applications, dead end leads, and unbearable interviews. So, one employer in Nigeria invited candidates to a 7 a.m. interview, but he didn't show up, the boss, until 6 p.m. So, 11 hours of waiting. He said he did it to test their patience. Yeah, now, two of the candidates stayed the whole time and were hired. Would you wait? Is this crazy? Absolutely not. Yeah. 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 No. I feel like that doesn't determine if you're good at the job. Right. Like you need to know more than just like patience. Like there's yeah. like can you do the different software and stuff like that. And also I feel like too if I'm like know my value, I would know that like I don't need to wait seven hours for a job. Like I could get another job somewhere else. So. How long would you wait? That's what I want to know. Like really an hour. one hour? An hour. An hour. Like, I I think I would wait an hour. I've actually been in a situation like that recently. Ooh. Yeah, where um, I went in and it was like the interview was at like four o'clock. Well, not recently, but like a year ago. The interview was at like four o'clock, and I sat in the waiting room for like an hour, literally. Are you kidding? Wow. Yeah, it was like two hours. I remember you called me like, "Should I go?" I was like, "Girl, get out of there." <laughs> Were they like, hey, hold on 10 more minutes, mm -hmm. hold on one more hour? Yeah, still yeah, like, like going I think they just sat in a room and they were saying that the six people total showed up in the morning, three waited at least three hours, but then the rest only two waited the whole way. I'm surprised even two minutes. I, I would have think the person died or something. Yeah. I would have been like, well, okay, this is the end of this one. Yeah. I'm wondering if they were just like tr testing to see who didn't, ha who was as not as busy in their lives that they can yeah. take that kind of time out because then they can devote it to work. Because I'm like, I got, I got kids, I got, you know. Yeah. My very first job that I got here in Chicago at Broadcasting Night, I went to the interview and the guy said, this was in, around this time of year, said, can you work overnight Christmas Eve into Christmas Day? And I said, yes. And he said that I was one of maybe two or three people out of hundreds of people that said yes. So he said, it's one of the reasons I got the job because I was willing to show up. So there is part of that, like the, the dedication to a job that you're trying to show up. Yeah. Come on, this is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. From It's a Wonderful Life to Home Alone, holiday movies are bigger than ever before. Research shows these films give us an idea of what life could be like, and they remind us that there is good out there in the world. Watching Christmas movies also gives us a ritual to pass down to our own families. You guys watch a lot of Christmas movies? Absolutely. Yes, we love Christmas. I think three forms, like 25 Days of Christmas, is like my favorite time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> All the little like clay making ones from like the 1950s, those are just like classic. You can have mono if there's kids around, they're fine. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But do you think, do you agree with the science that that's why they just kind of make you feel good and show us the potential in ourselves in the world? I think so, because it's like it always ends happily on like this super cheesy, and you always you always know it's going to end like, you know, the guy's going to get the girl or something like that, but you're still like, oh wow, I can't believe it, it's so exciting. So it just makes you like feel good inside for sure. That's so funny, my brother who's 16, he's like, Christmas movies? No. And I'm like, how could you not? You know what I mean? But as a teenager, my nine-year-old has already watched Home Alone four times. Wow. Yeah, I've watched it at least twice. Yeah, yeah. That's a classic. I think like the like you were talking like the clay ones, the old school ones. He's just not interested in. He just doesn't care for those. Yeah, they just do make you feel good. Obviously, they represent what this the feeling of the ceiling is supposed to be. It's sort of like what you post on Instagram or your life on social media played out in a movie. The idea of like what you really ideally want. I cannot even believe. I'm about to admit this. I, I I think there's all these movies that we have seen, haven't seen, but has everyone seen It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah. I have never, I've never seen it. Oh either. my gosh! We're gonna watch it this Christmas, all right? Because that's one of the ones that people always quote. I've seen like bits and pieces because they show it on yeah. TV yes. around the time where supposedly at the end it's all yeah. this warm, happy feelings. We'll watch it together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing. That's it. All that's right. It. Now this week's social media is buzzing with what is the most memorable moment of the past decade. So either maybe what's in your own life or that you remember from a, a big thing. A lot of users are saying Marvel Comics, uh, they yeah. dominated. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, Megan, uh, I can never say her last name. Ramon, yeah. yeah. Uh, the soccer star, yep. of course, and her big moment and their big moment for the World Cup soccer. Legalizing gay marriage kind of was a big one, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Worked out pretty okay for me. Yeah. <laughs> I almost got the wrong finger, by the way. Sorry about that. This one here, clearly. Moments for the decade. Do you want to go? Uh, I would say, um, say Beyonce at Coachella. That was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. She like that performance. 
like incredible being there. I'm like a big Beyonce stan, so like she can do little wrong. She's like the queen, so that was really exciting for me. Yeah. yeah, I think just memes in general, like for this decade, I like thought about like what I was doing, like you know, in high school and stuff. I'm like, we have memes now. Like this is like the funniest thing. Yes. Ever. So I think that's like if I remember like this decade, I'll remember like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The gifts you send your friends. Yeah. Are so really glad there's something nice and concrete to take home. They remember me. I mean the Drake Hotline Bling one with the pizza. Oh. Yes. Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, I would say the Cubs winning the World Series uh, for me, like that is like that. I, and getting married, awesome. but besides all that, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, but like in terms of like a collective watching experience, a really cool thing. I got to cover it here for the station. Yeah. I got to go out uh, to Cleveland back and forth uh, as a fan, and then like just it's such a part of my family and the, the grandparents who have left us, all that stuff. That will always be what I remember this decade for. I think I had kids in this decade, so I really can't pick one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say becoming a mom. Okay. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. This is going to be the decade you forget, Amy. My parents always say they don't remember the 80s because they're like, they have the three kids, uh, yeah. and they're like, no idea. I'm like, holy cow, nine years ago, my, what's, what's it? Yeah. 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 Fine. Exactly. When you look back, it's such a big chunk of time. Exactly. All right, really quickly, Womanish and your next event coming up. So the big event will be launching during National Women's Month in March. Um, and you guys, on sale. Yes, tickets are on sale, so go get them now. Uh, Wearewomanish.com. You can follow us on Instagram at Wearewomanish underscore. That's great stuff. Okay. All right. By the way, I forgot to say that that was the early thing we were talking about was our question for the day, so please chime in and do that. Well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, thanks ladies. ladies. Coming up, uh, no more forgetting to take your pill, ladies. Details on a new birth control that could change your life. Plus, Big Bread and the boys will be performing live from our music lounge. Ooh. 